Me and Jared Gilroy coming to you live from the tractor. I've been out the tractor a little while. I had to take me a few days off, take a little sick leave. I'm all right. But you can obviously tell I shaved my head. And uh, I've been shaving my head. I had a little bump I had to take care of I don't like. So I tried Nair. Don't worry, Nair works well. Clean my head perfectly clean. Worked so good on my head. I tried it on my shoulder, turned up, got the hair off. Tried a little bit on my back. I'm a little older, so I got it off. Work good. Work good on my head, my shoulders, my back. So I start thinking, hmm, maybe I can do some manscaping. So I took some there and I rubbed it on and it started getting hot and hotter and hotter. And I start freaking out. I was like, oh, I'm in trouble. This is getting too hot. I just know I need to get it off. So I jumped in the shower, turned the water on. It wasn't helping. So I grabbed the blue Axe body wash and I, 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 oh my God, the blue Axe is menthol. You ever put on something, put, put, put menthol on something burning? Oh my God, it was fire and ice at the same time. I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. I just know I got to get this off. So I jump out the shower only thing I could find to clean myself was some rubbing alcohol. And I don't know what got in my head, but I used the rubbing alcohol and ow! I turned a fire into an atomic blast. I know I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I can't stop it from burning. I got to do something. So I run in the kitchen and I open the freezer and I grab one of them cold packs, you know, the blue gelatin thing in the pack. And right when I went to put it on, on my manhood, I slipped and fell in the kitchen. And when I fell, I bust the bag. So now I got this blue jello I'm laying down in the kitchen, butt naked spread eagle trying to rub the blue jello on me. And, and, and my wife walked in and said, Jared, what are you doing? And I'm like, baby, I, 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 I got nair. She said, you're not supposed to put nair on your on, on your private parts. What is wrong with you? I said, baby, you can put nair there. there. If you wasn't supposed to put nair, they would say so on the bottle. And she picked up the bottle and said, it says so right there. Y'all know it said that on the bottle? Well, I didn't, but I'm in trouble. It's hot. And I'm rubbing it. And I'm rubbing. And then and then my three daughters and my grandson walk in. And my grandson said, oh, put naked. And my grandson I got this thing. Whenever you laying down, he gonna bounce on you and do uh uh like he riding a horse. Well, he is bouncing up and down on my forehead, doing uh uh while I'm laying down in the kitchen, rubbing the blue gelatin on, on, on my taters because it's hot and I'm trying to just cool it off. And my wife is fussing, and my three daughters looked at me, and I have never seen such a look of sheer disgust in my life. And the three girls just walked away and went about their way to do what they had to do. And, and and what what surprised me is my three children just walked away and went to work like nothing was going on. I got to change how I'm living. Something just not right in my house. So I am laying there spread eagle with a kid bouncing on my forehead, rubbing blue gelatin. Y'all, it was a bad day. All I can say is this. The moral of the story is, guys, don't put nair on your taters. Have a good day.